In today's video, it's all gonna be about the pH controller. Welcome to Jay-Z Reef, where everything's made easy. In today's video, we'll be going through the unboxing, the setup, along with the calibration of the pH controller by Pinpoint. Without further ado, let's proceed with the unboxing. Strangely, for the price you pay, as you can see, it's a very generic white box here with no instructions whatsoever, except for a barcode. Inside the box, we have pH 10 calibration fluid. pH 7 calibration fluid. A user menu. The pH probe soak with a storage solution I believe that most pH probe is recommended to ship wet instead of dry which is why they include this solution over here next you have the main unit which is the pinpoint pH controller you have calibration over here and where we want to set our pH over here here is where we connect the pH probe followed by a power switch over here and it can connect up to two devices to control based on the reading set point that you set over here Along with it, they give you a mini screwdriver to calibrate the device. Here's an overview of the Pinpoint PH controller. Let's move on to the calibration portion. After playing around with the pH controller and trying to set the set points over here and also trying to figure out this thick complicated user menu over here, I've concluded that in order to calibrate the set points over here, I would recommend to set this range to a minimal so that between the lowest point and the highest point, the range itself will be at 0 0.2 pH which means it will kick in when it detects a difference of a 0 0.1 pH accuracy. From there, I will recommend to just toggle either the low or the high to set the pH that you want as to when you want it to kick in or to power off at this junction. For my case, I've actually toggled based on the low set point itself for a calcium reactor when it reaches below 6.8, it will actually power off the power socket over here and based on the range and the center set point, once it hit a pH of 6.9, it will automatically power up the socket and carry on my CO2 injection from my regulator. With that said, let's set it up on the calcium reactor and see how it goes. For my use case, I'll be installing the pH probe directly to the calcium reactor. So I'll just, what I did, I just loosened this knob over here, remove this filler and insert the pH probe. 
as you can see over here where the TH probe actually sits about one inch into the calcium reactor and moving on over here I have my pH controller which is connected to my CO2 art regulator over here and as you can see based on my pH reading in my calcium reactor currently is at 7.9 and with my lowest point set at 6.8 it actually sets off the CO2 regulator based on the readings with a midpoint of 6.9 Some of my afterthoughts after setting it up and calibrating the pH controller by pinpoint Firstly, the device itself comes with two ports which some of us might appreciate but in my case, I'm only gonna use it to control my regulator so I'll be only using one port. Another pro I feel that strikes out to me will be that the pH controller that comes with it, they actually ship it out wet with this solution in it. Hence, it actually sort of preserve the accuracy or protect the pH probe which according to them it's not supposed to ship out dry unlike some manufacturers of other devices at least from the first impression perspective we can see it's actually already calibrated quite accurately we just need to do some minor tweaking and adjustments another plus point I feel they actually provide this pH calibration fluid so on the go once you unbox you can actually start with the setup and calibration one more plus point i must say the ph controller itself actually comes with decimal place which not a lot of ph controller out there has on the cons of it i feel it's not really user friendly as in one look at it without going through the user menu at all you wouldn't know what all these individual knob is used for and the button over here you wouldn't know what it is used for so after going through the user menu then you will know it another con that I feel I shouldn't be needing to use a screwdriver to actually fine-tune a device in the modern age since there's a LCD screen here, perhaps there's, there can be some buttons where I can press up or down and it will show on this screen over here instead of just dialing in using a screwdriver. Other than that, I feel this overall is a bulky setup which some of us might not have the luxury in our cabinet space or within our sum to hold such a huge pH controller unit. Now that we have completed all the setup, in the next video, I'm gonna share how I'll be tuning in my calcium reactor.